This patch is absolutely filled with item changes, as we've got nine of them in total. Yasuo is getting buffed, and Cassiopeia's early game is becoming a whole lot stronger. All of this and much more as we bring you guys completely up to speed with everything you need to know for patch 14.15, which is set to hit live servers July 31st. And did you know that with a 55% win rate, it takes 160 games on average to go up just one rank? Now increase your win rate by just 5% and that time is literally cut in half to only 80 games. This is the power of skill cap. Each course offers a win rate increase that's literally a click away. Learn what took challengers players 10 whole years to figure out in just 10 minutes. We supercharge your rank gains with real results. Just click the link in the description below now to get the rank that you've always dreamed of. So let's start off the video by covering all the item and rune changes. And first up are some buffs to Dark Harvest. The cooldown of Dark Harvest is going to be lowered from 40 to 35 seconds, while the on takedown reset timer is being reduced from 1.5 to 1 second. Cosmic Drive is receiving some pretty nice changes for this patch, with its health being increased from 250 to 350. The movement speed is also being adjusted, going from 25 scaling to 60 to 40 scaling to 60. And it's really not just Cosmic Drive that's getting a health boost, as Hextech Rocket Belt is going to have its health increased as well from 300 to 400. Two buffs for Storm Surge are on the way, with its passive bonus movement speed being increased from 25 to 35%. Passive damage for ranged champions only is also going up from 75 to 80%. Void Staff was just buffed a few patches ago, and Riot circling back with another buff for 14.15 as they're increasing the ability power on the item from 90 to 95. We've got a pretty big buff to Death Dance on the way with its armor going up from 40 to 50. Now onto the item nerfs. Kraken Slayer is going to be losing some power for this patch with its movement speed dropping from 7 to 5%. Passive damage is now going to be less effective for ranged champions as it's only going to deal 80% of the previous value. A couple of static shiv nerfs are being issued as as just like Kraken Slayer, it's going to have its movement speed lowered from 7 to 5%. Price of Shiv is going up as well from 2800 to 2900 gold. Lord Doms won't be as powerful at chopping down tanks as its armor pin is being reduced from 40 to 35%. Mortal Reminder is taking a hit for this patch, with its AD dropping from 40 to 35. Riot's going to be changing the scaling on Fleet Footwork for 14.15, as it's now going to be weaker early on, but stronger post level 14 with the healing going from 8 scaling to 110 to 5 scaling to 120. So taking a look at the champion buffs now, it looks like Riot doesn't really know what they want to do with Varus, as they buffed his W Max build a few patches ago, but now they're significantly reducing its strength for 14.15. Base AD is going up from 57 to 59. W on hit damage is getting torched at max rank, going from 35 to 25. Minion passive attack speed is up at all levels. Champion takedown passive of AD and AP are going up from 15% of attack speed to 25% of your attack speed. Champion takedown passive attack speed cap is up as well from 2.76 to 3. Since Kraken Slayer is being nerfed for this patch, Riot's buffing Yasuo as he's been a big Kraken user this season. E damage is going up from 60 scaling to 100 to 70 scaling to 130. E stack scaling is being changed from 15 scaling to 25% to just 25% flat. Base armor is also buffed as it's going up from 30 to 32. Talon's receiving a little bit of a weird buff for this patch, as it looks to be more of a bug fix. As Riot stated, Talon's Q is now going to always dash to his target. Now for the champion nurse. There are five different champions that's going to be getting weaker for this patch, starting with Leona. Passive damage is dropping from 32 scaling to 168 to 32 scaling to 151. W damage is also being reduced from 55 scaling to 195 to 55 scaling to 175. Ezreal's QAD ratio is being targeted for this patch as it's going to be dropping from 140 to 130%. Aurora has been performing exceptionally well for a new champion release, so Riot's hitting her pretty hard with a few nerfs right off the jump. Passive movement speed is being reduced from 5 to 2%. Passive movement speed is now going to scale with 3% per 100 AP. Our base damage is going to be reduced from 250 scaling to 500 to 200 scaling to 450. Our AP ratio takes a hit as well, going from 65 to 60. 
50%. The 14.14 Aurelian Soul adjustments ended up giving him quite a bit of strength for the lower ELOs, so Riot's looking to tone that back just a bit for 14.15. QAP ratio is going down from 55 to 50%. Q burst base damage is being lowered from 55 scaling to 95 to 55 scaling to 75. Q burst damage is now going to scale off 12% of passive stacks. Q max health damage is being reduced from 3.1 to 3% of stacks. And E mana cost is being increased from 80 to 90, while E is now going to grant an extra passive stack if at least four enemies die during its use. Shivana has skyrocketed in priority for solo Q over the past few patches, so Riot's nerfing her for 14.15. E base damage is going from 60 scaling to 220 to 85 scaling to 245. The 40% total AD ratio is being changed to a 50% bonus AD ratio. AP ratio is being adjusted as well, going from 90 to 80%. RE bonus damage is also being changed with the total AD ratio swapped for a bonus AD ratio, and the AP ratio is going down from 30 to 20%. The RE damage over time while the spell sits on the ground is nerfed too, as the total AD ratio is now going to be a bonus AD ratio. Lots of champions under the adjustments category for this patch. However, these first changes are just flat out buffs, as Skarner will have his health growth increased from 105 to 110. Q mana cost is being lowered from 50 to 45. And there's also a few quality of life changes being issued to Skarner's Q and E. Some of the most interesting changes of the entire patch are going to Cassiopeia, as her base mana is up from 350 to 400. However, mana is scaling down from 60 to 40. Q mana cost is dropping from 50 scaling to 90 to 50 scaling to 70. W mana cost is going down as well from 70 scaling to 110 to 70 scaling to 90. E mana cost being reduced is the big one though, as it's going to be 50 scaling to 42 to just 40 at all levels. Q AP ratio is nerfed as it's dropping from 90 to 70 percent. E bonus damage AP ratio is down as well from 60 to 55 percent. So more power budget being into Casio's early game dominance in exchange for a weaker late game. Irelia was just changed last patch and she's being adjusted once again as her base health is going up from 590 to 630. Health regen, however, is dropping from 8.5 to 6. Akali's all-in power is going to be stronger early on, but you won't be able to use her R as often as you used to. R1 damage is going to be up in the early game, but it's being nerfed later on. R2 damage is actually flat out buffed at all ranks, being increased by 10. R cooldown is what's being nerfed as it's up by 20 seconds at rank 1. W cooldown is buffed, going from 20 flat to 20, scaling to 16 seconds. Yone will be receiving two changes for this patch, as his Q damage is going up. However, you won't be able to use his R as often later in the game, as the scaling is being changed from 120 scaling to 60 seconds to 120 scaling to 80 seconds. Zed's late game is going to become a bit weaker for this patch, as his Q base damage is going up. However, the bonus AD ratio is dropping. R cooldown is also being increased later in the game, going from 120 scaling to 80 seconds to 120 scaling to 100 seconds. And the final changes that we have for this patch are going to be issued to Silas. Q cooldown will be lowered by one second at each rank. Q2 base damage is going up by 10 at all ranks, while the AP ratio is dropping from 90 to 80%. E2 AP ratio takes a hit going from 100 to 80%. W change is the big one here as the heal ratio is being adjusted from 35% AP ratio to now 20% AP plus 5% of Silas's bonus health. W damage AP ratio is going to be nerfed, dropping from 80 to 70%. Okay, guys, one last thing. Our rank up guarantee is absolutely insane. It's kind of like signing up for the gym and then just getting a refund if you don't get ripped. That's how confident we are in skill capped. We obsess over making the best guides with the top players, the rigorous testing, and top tier video editing to make your climb as easy as possible. If you're ready to level up, just visit skillcap.com and literally see the difference. So there you have it, everyone. A complete look at every single change that's going to be headed to live servers July 31st. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.